Hey everyone and welcome back to Lux Fiat channel, Billy here and today I want to bring you this sponsored video and tell you about the Sad Ghost Jet Club over on the Ethereum blockchain. Stay tuned to the video to see what this project is all about. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe as it helps our algorithm and gets us seen by other people out there in this wild west that is YouTube. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the analysis. So guys, even with sponsored videos, you know, we're always upfront about what we see and what we, you know, what is on our screen. We're always going to be upfront with you, even on sponsored videos. So if we see something wrong, we're going to call it out. Uh, it is up to you to always do your own research and further go into analysis and see if this project is something that you actually want to get in and not something that you get in just because we said so. Uh, I do want to preface that this is not financial advice and that anything we do here is for educational and entertainment purposes only. This is only to help a project get their name out there and help them uh, have a successful project. Um, th there's a 100% chance that we could possibly miss something and that is why we have a network that we're growing of people who do their own research and provide their own information on the project and we all kind of take and grab from each other and provide to each other the amount of research that we do and so like the people who come here and let's say FUD or something maybe they have a valid point and they found something that I didn't it is always good to look at that so that is what I want to preface before we actually dive into this video so with that being said let's go ahead and switch on over okay guys so here is the website for sad ghost jet club uh, we're just gonna kind of run through it go through the socials uh, tell you what the project is about and yeah so we'll just go right into it right off the bat I am going to say that me personally uh, the website is kind of just uh, thrown together in my opinion it doesn't look appealing and it it should probably look a little more clean um, that is the only criticism I see right off the bat is that you know the websites not very appealing to my eyes personally maybe someone else does likes it but me personally I don't um, but that's not a tell if a project's good or not um, but we're looking at a mint of 0 0.04 ETH and a mint date of April 2nd. Uh, Sad, jo Sad Ghost Jet Club is a collection of 5,000 Gen Genesis Sad Ghosts created by Reaper, the creator, uh, on the Ethereum blockchain. With the way the world is right now, it's easy to feel alone, especially lately with the last several years ta being taken over by the pandemic. We are all just sad ghosts trying to find our place in the world and discover who we are. I want to create an amazing community, not just a community, but a movement that is known for authenticity and innovation. Around this project that will help us all come together to support each other, grow together, create a safe, inclusive space that all holders of a sad ghost will have access to. So just based off that description, I think that is a very good goal to have for an NFT to kind of... Uh, to me, it's kind of like a mental health awareness uh, sort of deal. And to me, uh, I might be a little sensitive to that as I suffer from ADHD, which is a very uh, <laughs> hard thing to deal with every day uh, without the right medications and the right treatment. But um, I mean, he he does have a point. I mean, the pandemic did take over a lot of our lives and he wants to kind of uh, create a community around that and uh, kind of just make a group of sad ghosts who who are all friends, you know, like everybody else out in this space. They just want a community to call home uh, and there's nothing wrong with that. Here are some of the sneak peeks of the artwork. We have a Solo Cup one, which I really like, uh, the Ash Ketchum one. I really like these, this one. Uh, this one with like the TV sort of static whatever background uh, that one's really cool uh, I really like the artwork usually I don't really go for like the pixel art uh, style of things but for this art I think it actually works well uh, I don't know what it is to be honest I actually just really like the art like there's nothing that really stands out to me about it uh, the I think it's just because it's different I haven't really seen it, a lot of ghosts uh, be created uh, over on ethereum at least i'm not over on ethereum a lot of the time but uh, i don't see a lot of these style of nfts oops i'm sorry let me go ahead and turn off my ringer 
I just want to interrupt really quick to tell you about the Unknown Species NFT, which is an NFT that we've been teasing for for a while. And at the end of the sale of the 600, we are going to be doing 10 $3,000 raffles. So be sure to check it out. Uh, here's the trailer to give you more information. But uh, go ahead and go to dac.llc slash NFT and find out more information. Here's the trailer. Mr. President, this looks really bad, sir. The doctor's research was leaked and it has left unrest within the country. This is not good. The plan backfired, as I predicted. Mr. President, you need to speak on this or there will be riots. We cannot afford riots on top of this. The president wants all samples brought to the laboratory at once for immediate testing. This could be dangerous, people. Very dangerous. Uh, but yeah, the art is amazing. I think a lot of people are actually going to like this with pixel art being as popular as it is now. Uh, I think these are going to just fly off the shelves. There's 5000 uh, at a mint price of 0.04 $250. I don't know. I, I think that's $250. I'm not entirely sure uh, on the conversion rate, but 0 0.04 ETH plus gas, I could assume. Uh, okay, so here is the roadmap. 10% onboarding will be a part of the Sad Ghost Jet Club. Uh, phase one, Discord hidden access. Phase two, merch access. Phase, oh, no. Here we go. Okay, so phase one has four, five, uh, okay, here we go. So in phase one, we are going to get Discord hidden chat access, merch access, IRL event access, uh, daily ETH reward access. So he's going to be doing daily ETH rewards for this as well, uh, which is huge. Not a lot of projects actually do that. Uh, you only really see the bigger projects do that. So I think that might actually be a good sign. Uh, Sagos Jet Club holders will get 25% of all Sagos Jet Club merch sales every quarter. That is also huge. So he's really trying to hammer the effect of giving back to his community, which is a lot of things that projects actually don't do a lot, uh, at least over in the Solana space. And uh, I see it a lot with ETH because Solana has a lot more utility than some of these ETH projects. Let's be honest. Um, Solana is just easier to work with and it's faster to do a lot of the things on Solana because of the gas fees. But um, but ETH, you don't see a lot of people doing this. Um, whitelist access for all sad ghosts, Jet Club Drop, Sandbox, Metaghost, uh, ETC. Uh, this is phase one and two, by the way. Metaghost clothing access and also rewarding all sad ghost ho holders every year 20%, 25% all Metaghost clothing sales. Sorry, I cannot read right now. Uh, like I said, I think I think this uh, text really does need to be changed. It is pretty hard to read, at least from my eyes. And also, uh, on honestly, red isn't the best color to have for text because colorblind people uh, wouldn't be able to read it. That's just my uh, criticism to it, constructive criticism. Uh, I would try and change that uh, if you're if you're watching. Uh, I would try and change that if you feel like it. That's my personal opinion, obviously. But... Uh, that's really the only thing I would change so far from everything I've seen. Uh, the pink is just a little hard for me to read, but uh, we'll continue on. Number eight, Sad Ghost Jet Club Sandbox, land access, DAO access, and app access. Uh, a lot of things are coming for the next couple phases. Uh, whatever time for frames those are, are have yet to be announced, uh, at least to my knowledge. Uh, so we'll go ahead and go back to the actual roadmap. So 10% onboarding Sad Ghost holders. So that's just mint, I can assume. 20% the official Sad Ghost store, merch store, uh, and uh, vinyl collectibles, stuff like that. Uh, that's huge. That's a big thing to get out immediately. 30% sandbox. Uh, we'll be going into sandbox, getting our own hideout, along with launching our own 3D voxel collection. That's huge as well. Getting into the metaverse, not a lot of projects do that. Um, and you really you really need as much utility as you can because when the bull market hits and, or the bear market hits, sorry, and NFTs go to pretty much zero, uh, there's really only going to be a very small handful of projects that 
live and those are going to be the ones with staking utility whatever it might be uh, the stoned ape crews the board ape yacht clubs etc all those uh all of them have utility ape coin just came out that was a massive thing and it's really changing the nft space as a whole so utility is huge and in my opinion especially for ETH, who already doesn't have a lot of utility involved with it um 60 percent barcode background so these these uh barcode background ghosts are going to give you special perks uh, based on what the QR code does, you're going to scan that QR code and you're going to be able to uh, do whatever that QR code does, uh, whether it's merch, discounts, whatever it might be, uh, that is what it will give you. Um, special drops and rewards is what it says what those will be. We don't know. 80% uh, cal collaborations. We will be doing collaborations with other blue chip long term projects along with Sagos Jet Club collectors that will be collectors. We'll be looking into backing. So they really want to go into collaborations when they're a more, you know, established project. Uh, they have a little more money in their pocket. 80% uh, on that, I think, is a good uh, range. I think 70 to 80% would be a perfect uh, kind of area for that. Uh, and then 90% YouTube Lo-Fi Radio. We'll be launching our very own YouTube channel to document our meetups and events and news for Sad Ghost Jet Club, along with giveaways and sharing the IRL view into what's happening behind the scenes. Uh, our lo-fi radio will be available on Discord. That's pretty cool. Nothing too big. Um, I guess being able to document your events and stuff that you throw is obviously something very, very big, but that YouTube channel really should be something bigger than just documenting meetups. Maybe you add some education to it. Maybe you do something like that, but if you do that, I think that's a great idea. I think this is a good idea anyways. Uh, any social media marketing, use all platforms. YouTube is one of the biggest websites in the in the world. So to not use YouTube as a marketing tool would be honestly a hindrance to your business. 100%, um, 10% upcoming projects. So 10%, uh, after they hit 100%, all remaining 10% will go into upcoming projects. I'm sorry for hitting my mic. Uh We'll go into upcoming projects and again i think that's big just looking forward to the future and these are things you want to see something with utility something wanting to work with others uh you want a merch store you want these things that kind of establish the project because it makes the creator want to stay you know if i'm how i'm gonna i'm gonna kind of break it down like this if the creator is making money of course they're gonna stay all right, it's, it all comes back down to money, right? What is the basic resource that we need? And that is money. Uh, money isn't everything. Money will not buy you happiness. Money will not give you anything. It is a great tool to get you there. But really, you know, what helps uh, is just therapy and getting your mind in order and reading and doing stuff like that. But uh, at the basis of it is if the creator's making money, and the holders are making money, then nobody's going to leave. So what utility does is that they have a merch store, they have uh, staking, well not staking, they have daily ETH rewards, <clears throat> excuse me, daily ETH rewards, streetwear, barcode backgrounds, collaborations, like there's just a bunch of stuff that they're going to be doing. And I think the collaborations really does solidify uh, what your project is. And well, it depends on the, the partnerships you get, but uh, I think this project has a very good chance of getting good collaborations because, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice is getting to that point where it's just very annoying. But uh, speaking of collaborations, uh, Reaper, the creator, has been open and told us that DRock from Gary V's team is actually helping push the project. Uh, so I think that's, that's huge. I, I think having, <clears throat> excuse me. I think having a big name like that and just having the backing like that already gives it the, I don't want to say trust because I mean, anything can happen, but it does give it that backing to kind of solidify that, that background and uh, where the project is kind of going to be taking things. But, um, but yeah, here's a little background of Reaper himself. Uh, hello, I'm the creator of Sagos Jet Club and artist and de developer i'm a futurist that has a vision of having an active role in transfer and transforming the world and bringing new ways of seeing the metaverse in irl 
and many other ways as well as well. So please join me on this journey into changing the world in a big way with us working together and collabing with other great visionary projects that have their eyes set for the future. Uh, that's just a little bit about Reaper himself. Uh, he was a good guy when I talked to him. Uh, he seems like he has a lot of on his mind. He's a very hard worker. Uh, this whole project has pretty much been built from the ground up from him. So uh, he, he, I would say he has a lot of vested interest in making sure this project does well. Uh, obviously, this project is not very big yet. We're really, you know, trying to get this project out there, help him uh, grow his brand. Uh, you're looking at 624 followers on Twitter. So go ahead and follow him and give him a follow. I, like I said, <laughs> these, these are artworks are just crazy in terms of pixel art i think they're one of the best i've seen uh given i mean there's not a lot you can do with pixel art but uh i just think for some reason they all come together very well and as someone who doesn't really like pixel art too much it's just crazy for me to even say that um go to his discord he has about 300 members already boosted to level two which is a very good sign uh 300 members and already boosted to that much is pretty big not a lot of activity you just you know you got to wait for more people to get in there you'll see more activity in here but i do think this project is going to do a lot of wonders in the future uh just because they have the backing of gary v's team and that immediate access to kind of some advice and what they do and um, that can lead the project to even bigger horizons than what even i'm seeing right now but uh yeah, I mean, that's just kind of an introduction to the project. I really recommend you guys to go to sadghostjetclub.com and do all the research yourself as well as look into all the socials and the YouTube and just do your deep research and make sure that this is a project that you want to get in and not just because uh, Mira John said so. Again, this was a sponsored video. We are getting paid to do this video. Uh, we just got to be upfront and transparent with you guys. Uh, but... We're never going to do a video or take money from a project that we genuinely don't believe in. Again, that doesn't mean we're always going to be 100%. This project's not a rug, ETC. That's why you have to do your research because we can miss something. Um, I don't think this project is a rug. Can it be? Of course, any project could be. Stone to Ape Crew from Solana could rug right now and people would lose their minds and you know nothing would come of it. It would suck for a couple weeks, but... At the end of the day, you really, you know, any project could still be a rug, even if it's established. Um, it's just whether they want to throw that away or not. All right, guys. So I hope you did enjoy that video. My voice is starting to get tired, so I got to wrap it up here. Uh, but I think this is a great project to look into. Uh, just give it a look and put it on your watch list. See what happens. Uh, there's a lot of backing behind it and a lot of good information, a lot of things on the roadmap that perk my ears to it and makes me want to genuinely jump into the project again this was a sponsored video so just because we say so doesn't mean it's a good project again always do your own research this is not financial advice um, but yeah guys with that being said remember like comment subscribe turn on notifications and set them to all so you don't miss anything from us we i think we provide some pretty good information on this channel so you definitely don't want to miss it uh, so yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.